Okay, so in the last video, we talked about uh, factorial identities, and in this one, we're going to apply them uh, to do a proof with combinations. This notation here really means n plus 1 choose 2 and n choose 2. And I'm just going to write on the side note here, on the side here, that when you have something like um, n choose r, that's really written in a different notation as ncr, and that's really equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay, and this is really just a reminder more than anything else. So, with that in mind, we can begin with our proof, and I'm going to start with the left hand side. Okay? So, I'm going to start with this section here and just write it in terms of uh, factorial. So it's going to be n plus 1 factorial, this is the left hand side, over n plus 1 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial minus n factorial over n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Um, and as I proceed, anything that, that has a major change in it, I'm going to highlight in blue. So first thing I'm going to do is just simplify this expression here in the denominator. So I have n plus 1 factorial over n plus 1 minus 2 is really just n minus 1 factorial times 2 factorial minus n factorial over n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And whenever we have a proof, we're trying to prove something using variables. So if you have any constants, the idea is to, just to try and eliminate them. And I'm going to write a note on the side here that 2 factorial is really equal to 2 times 1, which is just equal to 2. So in this next step, I'm just going to take this expression one step a little bit further and just recognize that this is really just 2 and same thing on the right term okay And so the goal here is to get rid of all the factorials. So if I can somehow remove all the factorials from the problem, uh, it will make it a lot simpler and it will get, it, get me a lot closer uh, to where, where, where I want to go. So I am going to leave the left term alone for the moment and just do some work with the term on the right. So I'm just going to recopy this. And you can see here that n factorial, I have that on top, but I can apply my first factorial identity. n factorial is really n times n minus 1 factorial. So I'm going to apply that identity here on the top. n factorial is really n times n minus 1 factorial. All of that over n minus 2 factorial times 2. So that leads me to a little bit closer to where I want to be, but it doesn't really quite let me remove the factorial. So I'm going to take it one step further. And again, I'm just recopying this, leaving the left side of this alone. I have n now, I want to be able to do something with this n minus 1 factorial. But if you look at our example, n minus 1 factorial, or looking at our identity, n minus 1 factorial right here is really just n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. So I can make that change now. Okay? So n minus 1 factorial is really n minus 1 times n minus 2 
factorial. And at this point, we see that there is something in here that can cancel, that can eliminate the, we can eliminate the parts that have factorial in it. So to continue this proof, um, I'm running out of space here, so I'm just, just going to recopy it at the top here. Just going to recopy this, recopy step 5 at the top here. So 5 says I have n plus 1 factorial over n minus 1 factorial times 2 minus n times n minus 1 over 2. Okay. And you can see here that by eliminating the factorial, it makes one of the terms much simpler. And what I want to do next is work on the left term here so that I can um, uh, make that simpler as well. So I'm going to erase this now too. So I want to do something with the numerator here. n plus 1 factorial, looking at our factorial identities, is really just n plus 1, it's really n plus 1, times n factorial. I'm just recopying everything else here. n plus 1 factorial is really n plus 1 times n factorial. But it doesn't let us cancel out the factorials. So we can just apply the factorial identity again and just subtract 1 from this n and that'll give us what we're looking for. And I'll show you what I mean. Now I have um, n plus 1 factorial just as before. And instead of this n factorial, it's gonna, it turns into n times n minus 1. n times n minus 1 factorial. So keeping in mind that our factorial identity n factorial is really n times n minus 1 factorial. The denominator is the same as it was before. And we can see that the n, factor n minus 1 factorial on the top, n minus 1 factorial on the bottom cancels out. And what we have left is n plus 1 times n over 2 minus n times n minus 1 over 2. Because they're the same denominator, we can combine them together into one fraction. And that gives us n plus 1 times n minus n times n minus 1, all of it over 2. I'm going to continue it over here in step 10 by distributing everything. So I get n squared plus n and negative n squared plus n. All of it over 2. You can see that the positive n squared and the negative n squared are going to cancel each other, which leaves me with 2n over 2, which is equal to n. The 2's cancel which is equal to the right-hand side of our proof. And there you have it. And I want to reiterate here that the main idea of this entire proof is just using the factorial identity so that we have the same factorial expression on the numerator and on the denominator, which will allow us to cancel it out. So we want to be able to cancel the factorials or remove the factorials from our expression leaving us with um, just a basic algebra expression. And there you have it. This is a proof uh, using combinations that applies the factorial identity multiple times.